Nice. Is that everything? I think for today, we'll work on draw force line next time. Oh, crap, I got. I got what could be a tough lesson here. It's another old guy. I don't know if he's a guy might. I know. All right, well, thanks. Yeah, buddy. Yep. What the heck did you do there, Ed? Sorry, I'm late. That's, that's Ed, all right, but Tom. You must be Tom? I'm Tom. No, oh, Tom Club. Yes, Sorry, sir. I'm late. That's had, a right. busy, had a busy morning. I should say so. Got actually my first traditional harvest with the recur. Can you show me your color technique? Sure, man. You, you're here to teach me. All right. So you see that target down there? I, I need a bullseye, man. I need you to put one right in the middle of that son of a gun. I thought this was going to be hard. No. A little far, I'll go split. <laughs> I think you're a little, a little high. Perfect. No, a little high and left, Ed. A little high and left. I didn't account for the windage. We'll try it one more time. I'm kind of thinking this might be hard. How much am I paying you for this anyway? 75 bucks an hour, Ed. Can I do four monthly payments for that? <laughs> Ed, no checks, cash only. Got the hard bargain, Tom. Oh boy. A little bit better. So where did you come up with your shooting technique, Ed? Technique? Yeah, what are you thinking when you're making that shot? What's going on in your brain? As you're finishing that's that shot. Where, that's where you guys have all the problems because there, there shouldn't be anything in your head. I can see. I should be able to look through one side of the ear, Tom, and yes. see daylight okay. on the other side. I can see that in your shot, Ed. Good. Ed, I got a question for you. Yep. What's your aiming method? How are you aiming that bow? Well, I'm drawn back, pointed toward the target. Yeah. Burn in a hole exactly where I want to hit. Did you know, Tom, yeah. that on a white-tailed deer, there are approximately three million hairs? And I have wonderful vision with these spectacles and I can pick out a single hair yeah. out of those three million hairs on a deer. All right, so you burn a hole and then what do you do, Ed? How, how do you finish your shot? And then what? Why do you guys want to break things up into so many different little segments? I burn a hole and then things die. You, well, I can see it. How in the hell did you hit that turkey head? Let me just ask you a question. How did I hit him? Yeah. Tell the truth, Ed. Ed, tell the truth. I'm be honest with you, Tom. All right. I hit that with a suburban on the way here. All right, that explains a lot, Ed. Yeah. Let me see what you got for an anchor. Give me a, give me an anchor here. Give me, no, just three. No, get, put that one in. No, get that one. Cur put, Open your fingers a little bit. Don't oh, do do this, Ed. Can you just do that? Can you hook them three in there? Okay, now. Where's that? One? No. Oh, let's give her an effort this time, Ed. Actually, touch your face. Okay, just act like you ain't even shooting an arrow. Okay. I gotta get you're to that. You're not gonna shoot the arrow. You're just gonna find an anchor. I gotta get to that anchor. You you can do it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, keep it coming. Come on in. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. oh, hey, I'll get there. Oh, crazy. Okay, I just can't get there. Why don't you stick all three fingers under the string, and that arrow should be much better in line with your eye. And why don't you get your eye and the arrow and the target in one line before you let it go? Three fingers under the string. Yeah. Three fingers under the string. No, that would be called split finger, Ed. I got three fingers under the string, Tom. <laughs> All right, I see what I'm saying. <laughs> this is where we're going to do it. We want to cut that hook right there. Now, don't you make a fist to it? Making the fingers a little longer, Ed. Come on. All right, now just keep that. Keep it. Got it. Keep it. Now you're going to pull that back, and you're going to line the arrow to your eyeball to the to the target. All right? Got it, baby. Yeah, kind of like, just do it like that. It'd be better than what you're doing now. <laughs> Come on. Now what? Now you got pulled back. Ah. I can't hold it all day, club. All right, Ed. We're going to do a little mental control exercise. Got it. 
All right? Yep. You're going to write your name, ED, descriptive of how you shoot, by the way. Is this some of that Joel Turner snake oil? Yep, yep, yep. You don't buy into that bullshit, dude, do you? Yeah, oh yeah, you try this and see if it works out for you, all right? E has to touch the bottom and top, can't be short, can't cross the line. E D. E D, my name. Yes, sir. You want Edward? No, just Ed. I think we just better stick with E D. Got it. One one second for him. You get her? Yep. It's accurate. It's pretty darn good to me. Alright. Hey, let me look at your bow here for a second. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. beautiful. It's a gorgeous bow. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, it's a 78 pound shaper. You're damn right it is, Tom Clump. This is hashtag true. America. I tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get your bow. It's a little easier to get to your anchor point. Maybe, maybe we'll have some success this time. Right. We'll try this one right here. Ed. She's a lot lighter. Lighter? Yeah. This bow's heavy as shit. 30 pounds. Draw weight. 30 pounds mass weight. Let's see if you can get this bow to anchor point. What's the up end of this? Looks you like about right there. Yeah. And you're going to go to anchor and then you're going to aim. And then you're going to shoot. Shot for 45. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that one, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Every blind squirrel hey. finds a nut. Every now and then, <laughs> yes, sir. Ready? I'm waiting. Get the anchor, rat. Get the anchor. Holy b! I think it's the best shot you ever made, right there. You only missed by a half a foot. Down the middle, long. Oh, I picked up more than you think I have when I came here, Tom. I actually purchased your online course via thebusharchery.com. <laughs> I signed up for the four monthly payments, 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. Downloaded everything in one night, never paid it again, canceled that debit card. <laughs> this quiver made by, you can tell by the stitching on here, is made by Mr. Gordy Mickens in 1978. It is a cardinal sin to have that on this soulless block of metal. That ain't a, an antler limb. How do these, how do these limbs attach to this hunk? Yeah, that's a system called an ILF rig. ILF, idiots, losers, and fairies. That pretty much describes that Zernzak fellow to a T. Just screw some shit on your bow. This hockey tape means your grip is garbage. You never heard of a checkered grip, Tom Clum? What's the matter, the boyer that made this? Didn't know how checkered and have checkering tools. What the? Hang on. <laughs> Thomas thing broke. It's called a grip trigger, Ed. A grip trigger? Yes, sir. A grip trigger. This could be a this could be a hard concept too. On, off, on, off, on, off. Here's one of these little things. These AccuTunes from those push cats, just another money making scheme. You know what this is, Tom Clum? Canadian made garbage. What's the matter, Tom Clum? Couldn't afford a Flemish. Look, my wife just called. I, I gotta take this call, sweetheart. I'll I need to call you back. I'm doing a lesson with Ed. And sweetheart, I, I think I'm gonna quit coaching. No. No. No! No, no, no. What am I gonna do now? It's a C H I J G A E J. Hey, uh, hey, Rod. You got plans next week? You got any openings? 2.30. Wednesday, I'll be there. Thank you, man.